The name comes from a perch, a timber tripod supporting a lantern, first erected in 1683 as a crude beacon to allow shipping to pass the rock safely. As the port of Liverpool developed in the 19th century, the perch was deemed inadequate as it required constant maintenance and only produced a limited light. Construction of the present tower began in 1827 by Tomkinson and company using blocks of interlocking Anglesey granite, using dovetail joints and marble dowels. It was designed to use many of the same construction techniques used in the building of John Smeaton's Eddystone Lighthouse 70 years earlier, modelled on the trunk of an oak tree. It is a freestanding white painted tower with a red iron lantern. It is 29 meters 95 feet tall. It was first lit in 1830 and displayed to white flashes followed by a red flash every minute. The light source was 30 orgond lamps mounted on a three-sided revolving array 10 lamps on each side with red glass mounted in front of one side. There were also three bells mounted under the gallery to serve as a fog signal. They were told by the same clockwork mechanism that caused the lamps to revolve. The lighthouse was in continuous use until decommissioned in October 1973, having been superseded by modern navigational technology. Although the lighting apparatus and fog bell have been removed, the lighthouse is very well preserved and retains many features lost on other disused lighthouses. It was restored and repainted in 2001 when an lead light source was installed which flashed the names of those lost at sea, including all the 1,517 victims of the sinking of the Titanic. 8. Low Tide It is possible to walk to the base of the tower, but a 25-foot ladder is needed to reach the doorway. The lighthouse is privately owned and maintained by the Kingham family and is a grade to asterisk listed building. Another plan to illuminate the lantern using LEDs and solar panels was achieved with a grant from the Coastal Revival and New Brighton Coastal Community Team and BCCT and has been operating albeit only to be seen from land since 2015.